Today is John F. Kennedy's 107th birthday. <laughs> Here are some facts about the 35th President of the United States. Number one, John F. Kennedy usually gets associated with the Civil Rights Act of 1964, despite that being passed under Lyndon Johnson. That's because John F. Kennedy did so much work to pass the bill that it's basically Kennedy's uh, doing in office. John F. Kennedy is buried next to the so-called Eternal Flame, which was lit by his widow, Jacqueline Kennedy, who then married but decided to be buried next to the former president to make sure that no presidents and first ladies were buried further apart from each other. John F. Kennedy used to be a part-time resident of, Pol of Palm Beach, Florida, which is the same place where the Mar-a-Lago is for Donald Trump, and the same place Brian Mulroney, the Canadian Prime Minister, died just a couple months ago. Many people still believe that 61 years later, the official events of that infamous day in Dallas were not true. Just for the record, I do believe that Lee Harvey Oswald was the lone shooter of John F. Kennedy. Number 5. John F. Kennedy was the first American president to identify as a Roman Catholic. The most recent is Joe Biden. Number 6. Going back to Dallas. Um, people think that Lyndon Johnson, his vice president and presidential successor, was behind the assassination because of how calm he looked while taking the oath of office. Although, a bigger reason is because there were rumors that he dropped Lyndon from the 1964 ticket, and that's probably why he would want to end it for him. Number 7. Not only was Kennedy outlived by his parents, he was also outlived by his grandmother, who lived a couple months longer than him after the assassination, of course. Number 8. John F. Kennedy usually gets the blame for the horrible Bay of Pigs invasion disaster, actually, but that was started under President Dwight Eisenhower. Number 9. John F. Kennedy never lost an election. He won three straight elections in the House of Representatives and elections for the Senate, as well, of course, as the 1960 United States presidential election. In June 1940, John F. Kennedy graduated from the Harvard Alum uh, University, but his application letter was five sentences long. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, and happy birthday to John F. Kennedy. Peace.